lagi ya? Okay, well, hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. I am Alexa and that is... Jay. Yes, welcome back to Hadig. How did I get here? Uh, where we live our best lives on the internet and come out on the other side knowing more but not feeling all that much smarter. Mm. We are your hosts and you are very welcome. Yay. 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 Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts and also leave a review. Uh, check out youtube.com slash dive for full episodes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to dive into the media today. Mm. And today's kind of interesting too. It's how to be a TikTok famous. Mm-hmm. I actually had an interesting conversation about this with someone named Clinton. Clinton Kane. He is a musician and he feels like… You know, he used to do YouTube and he's really famous for doing covers of… Or like making his own original songs. And then they would be titled like these really long names. This is what… This is what getting hurt feels like. This is Wait. what… Yeah. I know who this person is. That's Clinton Kane. Oh. Oh, wow. Yes. That's who me and Mm. Money and and Casey and everybody play D&D with. He's kind of crazy in D&D. But his songs are also kind of crazy. So it totally makes sense. Mm. Um, He was telling me about how TikTok is just being consistent. And it just… It works. Mm. It works. As long as the music's good, people, people vibe with it. True. That makes sense. Do you do TikTok? Uh, I do have one. We're not super active on it. We're, we're trying to be more active, but we kind of have a hard time figuring out which ones to do. What's hip with the kids? What's still relevant? I don't really know. What do you do? Like singing or like that? Oh, you probably do dancing, right? Well, we we do dumb little skits with like audios that we'll find, or we will do TikTok challenges for my choreography, or I'll do like different sumbays, like their TikTok challenges. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you do Cardi yeah. B's humbay names challenge? Cardi B's humbay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do Cardi um, B's Hanbei Names? Yes, I did Cardi B's Hanbei Names WAP Challenge. Yes, I did. Nice. And that actually blew up on Twitter, not TikTok, which is funny. Really? But yeah, because the thing is, we posted it on TikTok. But then someone took the video. You, you know, people do like fan cams on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got viral through people doing that. So it's more seen on Twitter than it is on TikTok. I feel like, dude, I feel like if you did dances, like dance challenges, you'd, you'd like go crazy on TikTok. There are some that I want to do. But you should just do them. Because yeah. like… Think about it, right? Um, most of these TikTok stars are people that are famous. Mm. They're not really known for dancing, you know. Right. They're like no known for other other aesthetics or mm-hmm. like maybe they're really good at a certain craft. But mm-hmm. you are a dancer's dancer. Oh, thanks. You are a dancer's dancer. Thank you. So I feel like you can really just kill it on TikTok. <sighs> we will work on that. There's there's a list of things we've been wanting to do, but we'll figure it out. So check me out on TikTok, Alexa Zabi official, yeah. <laughs> Plug it in again so they can hear it. Alexa, see me official on TikTok. Each park official on TikTok. Okay. Your TikToks are funny though. <laughs> I don't. I. I don't even do funny TikToks. I just sing. No wait, hold up. Then didn't you post something early on when you first got a TikTok of you doing like stupid stuff in your house? Oh. Because <laughs> I saw those. That was my like, Instagram. Yeah. Oh, it's Instagram. But I was oh, like, wow, Jay's he's doing things. Wow. I I try. I try a lot of different things, and I realize that you know what? Maybe comedy isn't the route that I need to go. It doesn't project the image of artistry. Mm. You know what I mean? I guess. I guess. Something mellow child uh, just blanket curtains and singing now. Mm. Yes. I'm trying to be like an artiste. Okay, this is how the TikTok algorithm works. If you scroll TikTok, you'll know that For You page is the best place to go to find the brand new content. According to TikTok, the system recommends content by ranking videos based on a combination of factors starting from interests you express as a new user and adjusting for things you indicate you're not interested to. These factors include things like user interactions such as the videos you like or share, accounts you follow, comments you post, and content you create. Video information. This might include details like captions, sounds, and hashtags. Hashtags very important. Super important. Device and account settings like your language preference, country setting, and device type. How do they know the device type? They they know everything. Tiny FBI man in the phone. You know, you know, you know that's true. No, they're listening. They say that that's true. You're getting to hear the Hidig podcast before it goes out. I hope you're happy, FBI man or the woman. Anyway, it doesn't stop there. Each of these factors is individually weighted by TikTok's For You recommendation system. Meaning that each For You page will be completely unique to a user and their level of interest. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Mm. Uh, TikTok explained that a while a video is likely to receive more views if posted by an account that has more followers by virtue of having a larger follower base, neither follower count nor whether the account has many uh, has a high performing video or direct factor. Wait, are direct factors in the recommendation system? I knew I you were worse read. off than I was today. <laughs> I had a long day. I'm tired. <laughs> but I can read. I can read. Not today, but I can read. <laughs> Okay, Charlie Demel- Demelio has taken over as TikTok's biggest star. These are the 40 most popular creators on the viral video app. Ooh, they say it's a particularly among Gen Z. It's a very popular, also the most popular social platform. Mm. I thought YouTube was the most popular social platform. Well, for Gen Z or in general, demographically, where does the… Activity lie. That's of interesting. The users. Wait, is YouTube already aging? Where like other oh other younger people are starting to segue to different platforms? Are we really that old? <laughs> I mean, we're. I'm. I'm thirty. I'm almost thirty. Jay, we've covered this before. You were not thirty. I'm twenty nine in Korea. Korean age. Yeah, I'm twenty eight in America. Mm. Yeah, I'm almost thirty. I'm nearing the big three zero. If you think about it, think about twenty years ago. Twenty years mm-hmm. ago. Our cell phones were not cell phones. No, there was no such thing as cell phones. They were bricks. Yes. Mm. Uh, the the computer went burr every time. <laughs> it went burr. It went burr every time we try to use it while using the internet. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean the phone. The phone went burr. You remember that sound? Do you even know what it sounds like? You might be too young. The- oh yeah, that kind of weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you did know it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't recognize any of these. Mm-mm. Wow, they have crazy numbers though. They really do though. We're at number 41 and 17.3 million followers. That's crazy. Oh, oh my dog. god, Jeff, Jeff Palm. Palm. 21.2 million. <laughs> I'm very interested it in wears Jeff a Palm. Shirt. Wow, these numbers. Oh, there's like f- straight up families. Families that are on TikTok. And then I guess I guess these are all considered influencers, right? Hmm. Dude, so much work must go into this. Mm-hmm. Wow, and younger kids too. Dober Twins, we got Kasud, we have Kristen Honcher. I don't know who any What's of What's number are. one? I'm s- Lauren Gray. Addison Ray. Um, Charlie D'Amelio. I legit, I've heard the name, but I don't know who these people are. 72.5 million followers. That's Is, a lot. Isn't that more followers than like Justin Bieber has on Instagram? I don't know. That's crazy. How many followers does Champagne Poppy have on Instagram? L Drake? Yeah. I don't know. L Drake. L <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Eldrake? Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Eldrake. That's so crazy. I guess I guess maybe we're we're not in the demographic Mm-mm. that specifically uses TikTok. Although you should I really feel like you should invest time in the TikTok. I mean we we want to like myself and my companies, well, you know, we want to be more active on that, of course, but you know, it's just figuring out what to do and like what would be like relevant at the time, I suppose. Mm. But yeah. I think see the thing thing about me is people don't believe in poking the sleeping bear. <laughs> but I believe in, in poking the sleeping bear till it wakes up. Yeah. Because then yeah. you'll figure out if it wants to kill you or if it just wants to go about his way. True. Right? True. Poke if it only go two ways, just either like, meh, whatever, I'm awake. Or like… Yeah. yeah. I play a little risky. I do. <laughs> are you a three-point shooter or are you more of a layup person? You have no Both idea Both of you to means. assume I know basketball. Yes. Both of you to assume. I'm impressed you even know what basketball is. I was on my high school's POM team. Thank you very much. What's POM? It's the dancers with the pom-poms. Aren't the cheerleaders? We dance. We don't do flips. Oh, it's different. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was forced to sit through so many sports games against my will. What's harder? Cheerleading or pom-pom? Poms. I mean both are. That's the thing. Because POM is more dance focused. But cheerleading is with the stunts. Oh, like that's like the back flips. And like yeah, the front the flips. the building and everything. But POM, we do like five turns in a row. Jump and then land into the splits. So. Yeah. Oh, you guys are both kind of kind of wild. Yeah, wow. it's both. Okay. Um, Moving on then. That's how pretty much the algorithm works. We've talked about some famous people on the platform. They have, they have guides on how to go from 1,000 followers… 
to 100K views in two weeks. How to go viral on TikTok. Number one, post a lot of videos. Two, watch videos to get inspiration. Three, try out trending formats. Is this… Oh, this must be from CaptainObvious.com. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Why TikTok stars will survive no matter what. Mm. Let's talk about that one. Well, it says, as fleeting as fame can be, tech talk, tech talk, TikTok is the rare platform where many users aren't out to achieve stardom or no, notoriety. Uh, the video app is meant to allow people to post funny, random, sometimes choreographed clips of themselves. Mm. Uh, Emma, Ch- Emma, <laughs> Emma, Emma Chamberlain used to worry about the risks of relying on platforms, but now she thinks it's an irrational fear. I don't pull all my eggs in one basket. I try to be on every platform, you know? When you build a community that's really strong with the people that love you, they'll follow you wherever you go usually. Facts. Uh, Perhaps the biggest success story of them all on TikTok, though, has been the rise of Charlie Mm, Uh, D'Amelio. Since posting her video last summer, D'Amelio, who was 16, uh, has become oh. one of the most followed person on the app with more than 70 million. 16? That's so crazy. Having so much influence at that age. I literally had to like argue with my parents to let me have Instagram when I was like 15. Really? That yeah. was a thing? Uh. I've had emails since I was like seven. I mean, no, I had like Facebook and email too. But like Instagram because it's social media. I'd be like, hey mom, dad, can I have Instagram? They said no. And then I opened one anyway. Why'd you ask? I didn't even think of asking. I just opened it. Well, my parents used to check my phone. <gasps> that's… That's facts. Mm. Well, I mean, I feel like all Asian parents are kind of like that though, right? Yeah. And uh, now that we have asked our question of the week and answered it, uh, we're going to take your questions and reciprocate some love. So the first question comes from… At Iofelicious? Yes. Yes. Um, I have a question. Can you smell and taste color without seeing it? What? How did I get here indeed? Can you smell and taste color without seeing it? Like do you… Do you mean like… If I were to pick up… Well… I mean… If you associate certain colors with flavors… Like purple is grape. Red is either cherry, strawberry, raspberry most of the time. Yellow is typically lemon or banana. And when it comes to like Skittles… If I'm just blind picking and I can taste… I'm like, okay, this is a red Skittle. True. Hmm? I think they're talking about paint. (laughs) This is a trick question. (laughs) All paint… Tastes and smells the same. Why would you know what paint tastes like? I don't want to talk about it. Question two. <laughs> um, this is from Miru Haru. What is a home to you? Is it a what, where, or who? Oof. This gets deep. Mm. Let's talk about this one. What's home to you, Alexa? Home is… Not a mosquito. That's not what home is to me. <laughs> Go away. This is not your home. You are not welcome here. What is your home? Um, I think it's just a place. I mean, it can be literal or not. It can be physical or not physical. That makes sense. Just a place where I feel safe and appreciated. Mm. Mm. So home could technically… You're saying that home could be to you. Um, it doesn't have to be specifically a place. Right. It could be a katok bang. Yeah. It could be a Discord channel. Mm. It could be a phone call. It could be a Twitch stream. It could be a Twitch stream. Mm. Wherever you can find place and community. Mm. I think it's the same for me. It's not a physical place. Mm. I mean home is home. And yeah. you do feel like you're home when you're home. Right. Especially because I moved and I live alone now. Mm. I thought I'd be really scared. Because I don't like… I'm scared of ghosts. But I have been sleeping so well. And I've been super stress free for the most part. When things aren't blowing up in my face. Home is nice. Yeah. Home is nice. But I feel… I feel very, very comfortable when I'm in a Discord call at the end of the day. Mm. With people just playing TFT and just talking about how everyone's day was. Yeah, it's like, you know, opening the door after day of work and then you walk in and it's home. That kind of feeling. Yeah, some people, you know, some people will go to a spa. Mm. Some people will take a hot bath with candles. Some people will have a glass of wine. Some people will pop a brewski. I go into a Discord channel and talk to my friends. Mm. And then that's what home is. Yeah. I mean, I have a like a cut talk chat with like all my hometown friends. Like there's 10 of us and that's how we keep up with each other throughout the day. So why do your hometown friends all have cut talk? That's the thing because I, that app also trended in America too. It's not just like a Korean thing. Wow. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. And I mean, especially because now I live here and not all my friends have iPhone. Oh. Yeah. Wait, can't you just do iMessage then? Not all my friends have iPhone. Oh, not all your friends have iPhone. That's true. Okay, that makes it hard. 
That makes yeah, it hard. Yeah, so cut talk. Cut talk makes sense. Okay. And those were the questions for today. Send more questions with the hashtag H-D-I-G-H. Hit it and let us know what should our next big question to search for be at our Instagram and Twitter at the Dive Studios. Also, YouTube.com slash Dive Studios and YouTube.com slash Dive Pods for full episodes. We also have a TikTok at the Dive Studios. And don't forget to subscribe to review this podcast. And we will see you guys next time. Later. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also, do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications. 